Yeah, um, another solid day. Uh, felt like I probably could have squeezed a couple more out of the round, but uh, anytime you can go around this golf course bogey free, uh, you know, it's always going to be a decent day. So, yeah, look, it's two solid days. You know, I've set myself up for, a, you know, a, another good go at it this weekend. Rory, not too much uh, breaking news happened last night off the course. So we actually get to get you back to uh, ask about some golf today. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Noah, you kind of struggled with the driver a little bit, only hit about half your fairways. I think you were still able to get around bogey free. What was happening off the tee, and what does that say about your short game that you were still able to pull out a good score like that today? Yeah, um, I think I only, I probably only hit the same amount of fairways yesterday, but stroke skinned off the tee was actually pretty high. So, yeah, it's hard when, um, you know, the, the fairways here are angled quite a bit, and there's a lot of dog legs, so... You know, with the, the distance that, that I'm hitting it, it's, you know, it's hard to fit it into to some of the places I'm trying to hit it into. So um, I don't mind if I miss a few fairways as long as I miss the fairways in the right spots or on the right side. So I have an angle into the greens and, um, you know, I just got to, you know, try to keep being aggressive. But I hit, um, you know, I had a good tee shot up the last hole there on nine. Um, you know, good three wood on eight, so I made a, a good couple of swings coming in. You've had two rounds in on the new greens. That quail has kind of done some work on them. What do you make of those, and how do you think they're going to fare over the weekend as this place gets a little bit more uh, firm and fast? Yeah, I hope it does. Um, you know, the way these these things were planned on Tuesday, uh, you know, we got all that rain on Wednesday or Tuesday and Wednesday. But um, yeah, I hope they I hope they do firm up because I you know I, I honestly think with how I'm feeling about my game and how comfortable I am, you know that'll that'll suit me well. Rory Xander's at a 12 under, I guess, right now and still playing. But um, you shot 61 here once on a Saturday, 62 on a Sunday. Does it give you reason to believe that, you know, hey, no matter how big the lead, that you can come back and win this thing? Yeah, I think any time you are playing a golf course where you've you've shot some really low scores, it, you know you know that it's out there. You know, the golf course is playing a lot differently this week than it, than it played in 2010 and 2015. But... Um, I know if I get it going around here, I can I can make some birdies and uh, and chase them down. The issues that you were dealing with around the time of the players, you worked your way out of that. When, when did, it, did did it flip? Or was it just a matter of keep putting in the time and you finally got there? Yeah, I put it in the time. Um, you know, after the players, I went to see Butch for that day right. just to sort of get a you know a couple of ideas and I think just the the combination of going to see Butch, getting a couple of ideas from him, working hard on it, sort of trying to rekindle some feelings that I've had in the past. Uh, it all sort of started to to, um, to click or come together in New Orleans. I, I felt like I played you know, very well there over the weekend, and you know, it, it, this, these two days have just been a continuation of that. Why do you play so well here? Do you think this course, what is it about this course that makes you play the game the way you want to play? I'm comfortable here. Uh, I think I can take advantage of how far I hit it off the tee. You know, I think this golf course really lends itself to um, to driving distance, and uh, and I, so you know, you know the fact that I'm comfortable, the length off the tee, and then you know I've had so many good memories here, and you know just I feel feel positive vibes. I feel good about myself when I'm walking around here. What have you been trying to do in your swing? Um, trying to support the club better with my right arm. Um, yeah, and then just trying to trying to sort of sync up the turn through, sort of try and sync up like right hip, right shoulder, right, you know, just trying to get everything moving together through impact. Um, because sometimes what happens is my lower body stops and my, my upper body keeps going and that's the one I can get going left. So really trying to sync up the, you know, the rotation on the way through. Um, so yeah, I'd say right arm, rotation on the way through, they're like the two main thoughts. Thank you. Thank you.